My name is Amogo. I'm the CEO and CTO at Carbon Origins. Uh, we make rockets, flight computers, and data loggers. And today, to make a fair, we bought the uh, latest iteration of our data logger that was born out of a rocket flight computer. And uh, we're opening up to makers and making it Arduino compatible. And it's going to be super cool. You should check it out. We'll be releasing it on Kickstarter about a month from now. Well, uh, it has 11 sensors on it. Yeah, it's two and a half. It's less than two square inches. And it has 11 sensors on it. Uh, it has a temperature sensor, a humidity sensor, a luminosity sensor, which does ultraviolet infrared and visible light. Uh, it has a microphone, it has audio to the environmental package. Uh, for motion, it has uh, accelerometer, gyroscope, compass, and GPS, 11 sensors. It also has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi for calm. So right out of the box, it is an internet of things. It can uh, communicate with other modules, it can network, all sorts of crazy things. Uh, it also has an SD card slot, so you can plug in an SD card, log data on an SD card. It has a beautiful OLED screen. Uh, it's incredibly beautiful, high, high contrast OLED, and a trackball, so you can go through it. And best part is Arduino compatible, which is always cool. Well, making something this small is incredibly hard. There are 11 sensors, a 32-bit ARM Cortex M3 processor, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. I mean, think about all of that going on something that is as big as a flash drive. It's incredibly, insanely complicated, right? And uh, we had to. We spent a lot of time engineering it, figuring out the layout. Uh, also, thermal thermal problems are a huge deal. Uh, things get hot. You need to control uh, temperatures around the sensors. So I think that was the biggest problem, and also the biggest value proposition of the board because we solved those problems. So the board has six layers, um, signal layers, and it has two um, ground planes, which also act as thermal planes. What that means is the thermal planes go under the components that get really hot, like the Wi-Fi module, the uh, microcontroller, and radiates the heat to the edges. Uh, if you look at the uh, outline of Apollo, it's gold-plated. And uh, it's essentially connected to those two thermal layers on the inside that's taking all the heat to the edges, making it incredibly cool near the sensors. We are all, Carbon Origins follows the same ethos as the maker revolution. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we build rockets and it's expensive to build rockets. But we're doing it in a way that's a lot more feasible for a startup our size to get into. And also, uh, Arduino is a huge influence for Carbon Origins. It's all open source. MakerCon and Maker Fair is the essence of open source hardware and software. So we love it. The original idea was to have multiple Apollos on rockets to log data from different parts of the rocket and use the Wi Fi and Bluetooth comms to duplicate the data. So we have um, different, we have multiple locations on the rocket where we have the same data. Um, but we soon realized, okay, this has applications way beyond rockets, so we're now here. Cool. Um, so what advice would you give to young makers just getting started? Hmm. Think outside the box. It's very important. If you have a problem, there's always a solution if you think outside the box. And if you're an entrepreneur, don't take no for an answer. I mean, there's always a way to get things solved. You can always figure it out.